Uh, my name is Ita Martins. I'm a Royal Society Research Fellow at Imperial College London and I'm an astrobiologist. So I work in the field of astrobiology and that means that I'm trying to understand how life originated here on Earth and whether there is life in other parts of our solar system. Uh, in particular, I analyze meteorite samples and I have some samples here to show you from the Natural History Museum. Some are roughly 4.6 billion years old. They're from the time our solar system was formed. And what we want to understand with this type of samples is actually what was the contribution for the origin of, of life here on Earth and possibly in other parts of our solar system. Astrobiology is important because we're trying to answer two fundamental questions. We're trying to understand why uh, and how life originated here on Earth and whether uh, it started in other parts of our solar system. Uh, my typical working day, it's, it's not typical at all. I don't work nine to five. Um, I could be in the office writing articles or I could be in the lab performing uh, experimental, doing some experiments in the lab, or I could do in Australia doing some field work, or I could go to the European Space Agency to have a meeting. So my work is very um, creative and I really like that and it changes from day to day. There is no two days that are equal. The worst thing about my job is probably um, not having uh, a stable situation. So academic career, you have to jump places a lot. Every few years, you have to go and try to find a new job until you find a permanent position. Um, also, the other thing is probably there's lots of politics involved and lots of competition. But basically, the main thing is, is trying to, first of all, to try to find a permanent position. Probably there are a few things that I consider to be the greatest achievements in my career. In terms of articles, there were two big articles that I published that I'm really proud of and that they were landmarks. The first one was published in 2008 where we discovered that the building blocks of our genetic code, the nucleobases, are present in meteorite samples and they were formed long, long, uh, long time ago. Um, and so that was groundbreaking uh, research because uh, scientists have been trying to find if nucleobases present in meteorites were extraterrestrial or not and they've been dealing with that for more than 40 years and finally when I published that result we finally showed that nucleobases present in meteorites are actually extraterrestrial. The second bit of work is, is more recent. It was published in Nature Geo Science more recently in 2013. And we discovered that the impact of a comet can actually generate the building blocks of life. So this has implications not only for the origin of life in our planet, but also the origin of life potentially in other parts of our solar system. For example, the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn. So in terms of science, those are the two biggest achievements.